What's going on guys? So today we're going to be programming Sport Plus on my BMW 330i. We're going to be using the OBD link. Looks like this. I bought this on Amazon for about $80. I'll put the correct price. I forgot, but it was around $80. So All right, so I went ahead and installed the OBD link right under here. It's connected. So I'll show you the rest. We're gonna go to the Beamer Code app. You're gonna need to download this. You need to purchase it as well. I believe it's like $50. Once you're on here, you're gonna go to OBD Link CX. You're gonna press connect. Uh, actually, we're gonna have to turn the car off. I forgot. So make sure your car is off. Then you're gonna press the start. Uh, button three times one two three there it is it's in diagnostic mode it is now active so now you're going to connect press continue it takes a few seconds all right just finished loading uh, the next step, you're going to go to uh, body domain controller, this one over here, body domain controller. It's going to load. This one takes a little longer. It's a big file, so it takes a little, little while to load, just a minute or two. I'll wait for this to load, and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so this is almost done loading. It's taken about two minutes so far. Um, depending on your adapter, that's how long it'll take. Um, some of them are faster, some of them are slower. If, if you get a more expensive one, of course, it'll be faster. Uh, but this one's not bad. So this is at 100% now. So next, uh, so this is body domain controller. You can do a lot of different stuff here. You can uh, mess with the settings for the ambient lighting. You can add new colors, uh, sport mode, or expert mode, sorry and then press continue once you're here you're going to scroll down and then i'll tell you which one we're we're clicking here you're looking for 3221 f uh, pf fes master so click that one you're going to scroll you're going to look for sport mode world mode one click that one and then you're looking for uh, Sport Expert, which is Sport Plus. Now, mine's already selected because I already installed it on mine. Um, but I'm just showing you guys what to do. So you would click that. Once you do that, you're going to go back, go back. And then you would be you would press code. Um, once you press code, your car is going to go ahead and code it in and it's going to restart. Once it restarts, you're going to want to do another thing so that it could show up in the display here. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to show you guys what to do. You would go to the head unit this time. So we, as of now, if you follow those steps, you have Sport Mode Plus coded, but you don't have um, the display coded in yet. So we're going to walk you through on how to do that. We're going to walk through on how to do that. I'm going to let this load. This one's a lot quicker. It's a smaller file, so it should load a lot quicker than the body domain controller. All right, once you're in the head unit menu, you're going to also go to sport mode. Sorry, expert mode. Press continue. And then you're going to go to FES. This one over here. Click that one. And then you're going to look for FES sport expert. So click that one, and then for you it should show it should show um, it says Nick active. So that means in German I think not active. So if that shows for you, you're gonna press active. That means um, you're gonna be able to code it in. So I've already done this, so mine's already selected. You would select it, go back, go back, and then you would code it in. Once you do that again, your car is gonna restart, and then it's gonna be able to show sport mode plus i'm going to exit here just so i could show you what that looks like so i'm going to turn the car on i'm going to exit once you're done remember to exit one two three again 
and then it's going to exit, it's going to completely turn off, and now I can turn my car back on as normal. And then you're going to click sport, uh, sport mode, and now you have sport mode standard, you have sport mode plus individual, so we just coded in sport mode plus. So it also shows uh, right here. Let me know if you could see that. Sport Plus. So yeah, um, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. It doesn't take that long. I would say maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, it makes the car sound a little more aggressive. When it downshifts, it'll sound a little more aggressive. Um, I have a muffler delete on mine, so it makes um, it makes the sound sound a little better, a little nicer, stronger, and more aggressive. It also um, I can hear more burbles on it when I rev it or when I'm driving and downshifting. So I really like it. I don't always drive it in sport mode because it does waste more, a lot more gas than regular sport mode. Uh, so I just drive it in sport plus whenever I'm feeling like it. But I don't drive it on sport plus all the time. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. It's going to waste a lot more gas. It puts your car to a lot more strain as well. But it's definitely fun to drive it like that. Um, I always drive mine in sport mode and I think my MPG is averaging at 29 so it's not bad. Um, I'm going to try to rev it a little bit. So yeah. Let me know if you guys want to see any other videos. Um, maybe I'll do a different one um, explaining how to do the ambient lighting um, I've done a few other things I coded in um, the Rolls Royce sounds on, on, on my car so when I turn it on I don't know if you heard it it makes the Rolls Royce um, plays like a little sound uh, when it turns on the BMW standard sounds are a little different so it uh, does that uh, so since I also coded in the Rolls Royce sounds my uh, indicator sounds different it sounds like that the BMW standard sound is slightly different I like this one's a little more subtle but yeah let me know if you guys want to see any other videos um, I'm probably doing a few more similar ones on, on different things that you could code in do a, just a quick launch just to test it out I'm gonna hold the brake and step on it